Hello everyone, welcome to Beaver's Hobby Channel. This is a review of FlashSky GMR micro receiver for micro car. First of all, thank you FlashSky for sending me this review sample. They also sent me the sticker for Radio 2, so I'll be applying it later. Inside the package, we have the receiver. And 4 plugs in case you have to convert your ESC or servo. This is a micro 4 channel receiver with AFHDS3 protocol, so it is for the flagship radios. And right now, there are only Noble and Paladin. At the beginning, I said it is for micro car, but actually, you can use it with other RC too. For example, a small drone that requires only 4 channels. The plugs are JSTZH 1.5mm, which is the standard plug for 1 to 20th scale cars. What I really like about this plug is that you can't plug it in wrong. See, it won't go in if I put it in upside down. Here's the channel layout. Channel 1, 2, 3, and 4. And this plug is reserved for gyro unit, which will come out later. But honestly, if it is not built in, we are going to use an external unit like this anyway, which most of the time it is better than a built-in unit. So if they expect us to buy a proprietary gyro that will only work with this receiver, it better be amazing. It is very light. And very small. So it fits on the car perfectly without raising the center of gravity. The car I'm using right now is Mini QQ7 and I'm putting the receiver on the servo. You can also bend the antenna as well. Now I'll show you how to bind it to the radio. Because it'll bind to a single model memory, I suggest you to switch to the model you want first. Now go to the car. Hold the buy button, turn the car on, and let go of the buy button. You'll see the light is blinking. This means it is in binding mode. Back to the radio. Go to the RX set menu, and select buy with a receiver. And it is done. Now it is ready to use. Next, let's check the response time comparing to a big receiver. I'm using the FGR4S as a benchmark. Now let's try the GMR. And let's try the micro receiver from Das Micro as well for good measure. You'll see that the response times are all the same, so you don't have to worry about the performance, because it is all the same. What you lose is the range. Now it is only 50 meters, 
which, to be honest, much, much further than you can see the car of this size anyway. Now let's take it for a test drive. The control is no different from a big receiver. Well, it is lighter and the center of gravity is slightly lower, so it feels a little bit better to drive. In conclusion, this is a perfect receiver for a micro car. It would have been better if the gyro is on board and not an external unit. Personally, I don't use gyro except for a rear wheel drive drift car, which I'll always use an external gyro anyway, but I see a lot of requests about it. As for the pricing and where to buy, it is now available in Banggood for $27.50 US dollars, and that's a really good price. It is even cheaper than a big receiver too. Right now, Flysky is the only manufacturer that cares enough to make a receiver for micro car, unlike the other manufacturers that will have to get a micro receiver from a third party. And for that, they deserve our support to buy a genuine product. And that's it for this video. Please subscribe if you want to see more content like this and hit the bell icon to get the notification whenever I upload a new video. You can follow me on Facebook or social media for quick updates, written reviews, news and see what I'm doing between videos. Thanks for watching and see you again next time.